Let's try um, adding mixed numbers. So the problem that I want you to write down is 3 and um, 5 sixth plus 2 and 1 half. Okay. We notice that our denominators are not the same. They are unlike, so I want you to circle those two denominators, 2 and 6. We're going to go over here and list the multiples of 2 and 6 until we see something that is in common, starting with the smallest denominator first. So 2, 4, 6, 8, 10. And let's list the multiples of 6 until we see something in common. 6, oh, we can stop right there because that is going to be the least common multiple. Okay, now let's rewrite these fractions. So we've got to multiply the fraction by something equivalent to 1 to equal an equivalent fraction with a denominator of 6. And I'm going to go ahead and bring that whole number over so that I don't forget it at the end. Same thing down here. We're multiplying 1 half by something equivalent to 1 to get a new fraction with a denominator of 6. Did my denominator change here from 6 to 6? No. So my numerator will not change either. It stays 5 6. If you want to put something here, you can put 1 over 1. Okay. Now here, 2 times what gives us 6? If you don't know, you can go to your multiples. 1, 2, 3. So we're multiplying this entire fraction by 3 thirds. 2 times 3 is 6. 1 times 3 is 3. And we're adding these together. Okay, let's add the whole numbers first. 3 plus 2 is 5. 5, five plus 3? Eight. 8 over 6. Okay, now here we have what's called an improper mixed number. It's a mixed number because there's a hole here, but it's improper because in the fraction we have 8 over 6, and 8 over 6 is improper. Okay, so the way that we're going to do this is we're going to ignore the 5 just for a minute, and we're looking at 8 over 6. So I can take a whole out of 8 over 6. Do you all agree with that? Yes. Okay. I can take out 6 over 6. So 6 6 plus how much equals 8 6? 2 6. 2 6. And we know that 6 6 is equivalent to what? 1. 1. So this would be like saying 1 plus 2 6, which equals 1 and 2 6. Okay. A lot of times you might make the mistake of leaving this as your answer, but what are we forgetting? The 5. So we've got to add the 5 plus this 1 and 2, 6 to get our final answer. Okay? Look at the whole number. 1 plus 5 is how much? 6. six. And then bring that fraction right over. 6 and 2, 6. Does anyone know what 2, 6 is also equivalent to if we were to write this in simplest form? Oh, one third. Hmm? One third. It could also be written as one third. 6 and 1 Third, either of these answers are good, okay?